Hi, I'm Steve Adovato on location for One on One. This is the 78th annual St. Patrick's Parade here in Newark, New Jersey. 78 years going strong. It's a great parade. It's a proud group of people coming together. You don't have to be Irish to march in this parade, but for 78 years they've been coming here marching. You see another group, a gr another contingent coming here marching through. You're going to get a slice of life here in the city of Newark today. Our video crew has been here. We talked to everyone who is uh, coming to participate, whether they're marching bands, whether they're here to participate. You can hear it. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me much longer. That's why we're going to go to the videotape. You're going to love this parade and you're going to come, want to come back here next year. Let's go to the videotape. The parade is about to kick off and I figured what better time to uh, interrupt the Grand Marshal than right now. Patrick Dunnigan, everyone we've talked to right now is so proud, so happy to be here and many of them are personal friends of yours, business associates. What are you feeling as the Grand Marshal right before we kick off? Steve, a tremendous source of pride. A, a little cold too, by the way. Yeah, uh, tremendous. It's feeling a little warmer it's just because of the love here. Of course, of course. And everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day and particularly today here in Newark but I'm feeling extraordinarily proud. It's a great honor for me and my family and for my firm to be leading the line of march down uh, Mulberry Street here in Newark outside the Prudential Center, past NJ Pack to the Newark Museum. It's extraordinary. And what would you say to all the folks who are in fact marching here in the parade, in spite of the weather, we talk about that, but the fact is people chose to be here today. Sure, I just want to thank them all for coming out. So this is a great city and, and, and we're celebrating the life of St. Patrick through the prism of the host city, Newark, and bringing together really special people, like you said, business leaders, the community leaders, civic leaders. And you know, Steve, a lot of our friends in, in the businesses here in Newark stepped up and we've raised over $100,000 for charity. For the parade committee, which they're gonna dispense to 14 Newark-based charities. here, and, and it's just an extraordinary event, and I'm so pleased and thankful and grateful to all of those businesses for supporting the parade this year. I'm here at St. Patrick's Cathedral with Mayor Cory Booker. Mayor, what are you most excited to see today at the parade? Well, I think it's just a reinvigoration of one of the great traditions in the state of New Jersey. Uh, there used to be tens of thousands, over 100,000 people that used to come out for this parade as we celebrated uh, the tradition of the Irish people uh, and the Irish culture uh, here in the city of Newark. And to see it being revived, just as the city is being revived, uh, is extraordinarily exciting. And, you know, the, the history of the Irish community in Newark and New Jersey in a greater way is just uh, something that uh, I continue to be in awe of and continues to have impacts today. So, you know, this is the United States of America, and, you know, we are, our flag represents many colors, and even though you can't see it visibly, uh, our flag uh, definitely has uh, a, a green flowing through it. So it's, um, it's a tremendous day, and I'm just, I'm just really blown away by, the, uh, by this parade and how uh, our Grand Marshal and others are really making it back uh, to its old glory. Two of our greatest citizens in the city of Newark, Mary Sue and John, Today is a special day for the Irish and those of us who, you know, want to be Irish. Are you, wait, you're actually Irish? Sweeney is my maiden name. I thought you were Italian. Oh, man, <laughs> a little of that too. <laughs> what is today, why is today so important for everyone, particularly those of us in the city of Newark? Well, I think it shows off our great city to the entire state and the world who's watching. Uh, we have so much heart, we have so much spirit and talent. And John Schreiber from the uh, family at NJ Pack. Talk about why today's important. Oh, it's just a great celebration. Proves that, proves that Newark is as vital and as, as meaningful and as diverse as ever. So it's a pleasure and a joy to be in this parade. Yeah, special message to the Grand Marshal today, Patrick Dunnigan. We love him. One of our great board members, totally involved in the community, amazing family guy. Couldn't have picked better. I'm here with Eileen Galise, who is the Deputy Grand Marshal today for the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Newark, New Jersey. Eileen, what could we expect to see today at the parade? Well, great sunshine, lots of people out on the streets, all smiling faces. Everyone was told to wear their smile no matter what. It's going to be a fantastic day. Uh, marching bands, there's eight to ten of them from across the state. Uh, lots of young people, really enthusiastic, old and new, it'll be fantastic. How have you seen the parade change throughout the years here in Newark? Like everything else, it ebbs and flows. The first parade I ever went to was down on Broad Street in downtown. And um, my whole family came. And then it How old were you then? Oh, probably about, that I remember, I was probably in my crib, but then when I was seven, I remember it. Then it moved up to Valesburg, otherwise known as the Berg in town. Uh, and, it's, and now it's back down in downtown. And it's ebbed and flowed as, as do people, but uh, it's really always been embraced. And it's really being embraced this year, especially with Gibbons and all the support they've given us. 
And being Deputy Grand Marshal, what does that title mean to you? It's phenomenal. It really is because you, I saw this as a little child and this was the best day next to Christmas in our house because it was oh, so many friends, uh, people old and new and it's just such an honor because my grandparents before me and all these people that look like you like genetically and it, or, or they have stories. It's just a great, great day and I'm also representing the New Jersey State Police. I'm a detective sergeant first class with the state police and it's it's my last, well I can probably retire this year so it's, it's such an honor to do my heritage, my life's work, and everything all into one here. It's just great. And Essex County is always in my heart because this is where I grew up, in Irvington. What brought you out on this freezing day like this for the St. Patrick's Parade? Uh, to support the city of Newark, to support Patrick Dunnikin and Gibbons, to support St. Patrick's Day. Well, there's a connection between Patrick and Gibbons. Oh, and St. Seton Hall School of Law, right? Absolutely. Uh, Pat graduated in 1991, and we're so proud of him and all he's done for Seton Hall and for Newark and for the Gibbons firm and the people of New Jersey. So we're out here supporting him and the city, like Vicki said. I'm here with Minister Kelly from the Irish government, and you came to Newark, New Jersey today all the way from Ireland. Why was this day important to you and to the Irish government? It was very important for us. In fact, this is the first time an Irish minister is partaking in the Newark parade. Uh, we felt it was extremely important. Um, there's a huge Irish community in Newark. Um, they do fantastic work. Uh, they promote all things Irish. And we thought it was exceptionally important to recognize that. And uh, this is the first time we're doing it, so I'm delighted to be here. You got the city's finest right here. Gentlemen, what brings you to, obviously you're all Irish. So today's, Roz, let me ask you something. You've been to a lot of parades. What makes St. Patrick's so special here in Newark? Well, it's just like any other uh, parade that we go to in the city of Newark. Uh, we are a city of diversity, of, of different nationalities. Uh, Newark was founded on, on this kind of ethnic diversity, and we're just showing uh, that we have pride in our city by supporting St. Patrick's Day and, and the parade and the Irish Americans that are here in Newark, New Jersey. Councilman, talk to us today, special day. Yeah, 78th anniversary, man. This is 78 a 78 years. 78 long years. I'm proud to represent the West Ward, which has probably the most historical uh, numbers of Irish folks that are actually in our community. Balesburg. Balesburg branches, where I was born and raised. And so uh, my first taste of uh, Irish cuisine, uh, my first uh, dance to any kind of Irish music happened right in my home of Balesburg. So I'm just here to, to say uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, but also to commemorate the great Irish tradition in the West Ward of the city of Newark. What are you feeling today? This is a special day, no? Well, I mean, this is um, what makes Newark special. I mean, we bicker over our differences, but this is a wonderful cultural tapestry of um, not African Americans, Puerto Ricans, um, you know, Irish, and um, aside from it being cold, and I, I, uh, I hadn't noticed that. My intelligence tells me that we're close to a pub, so I think. Um, but but honestly, but this is a great thing about Newark. It has a rich and deep tradition of um, all different heritage that come together, and as we go through these difficult times, this is what um, should bind us together: the wonderful cultural history of this great city. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a great day. Thank you. We caught up with Patrick Dunnigan as the parade started. We catch him on the back end. Patrick, you've just finished uh, the parade route. Tell me how you're feeling now. Steve, that was exhilarating. <laughs> that was really awesome. You know, you were marching. Exhilarating is the right word. It was great. It was uh, very emotional for me. First, to see my firm sign, then to see uh, my firm all gathered outside. Uh, hundreds of people come out to support the parade. Marching behind my alma mater's pipe bands was particularly emotional for me that they would The law school was all here, Seton Hall Law School. And the law school was here, and, and the Iona College pipe band led me down the route. That's your alma mater, right, from undergraduate school. Graduate, right, and I have, I've got the most parade aides ever uh, because I couldn't pick or choose between my friends like you. I wanted to have them all part of this special day, and then also to watch my kids and my wife march behind me for that short period of time when they when they were warm enough to do that really just awesome awesome i'm so so excited for everybody involved in the it's emotional isn't it extraordinarily emotional so it's just it's just great it's such an honor to be designated the, the grand marshal of a saint patrick's day parade growing up as an irish american celebrating saint patrick's day every year it's my mom's birthday my mom patricia corned beef and cabbage and boiled potatoes and my dad who left us 10 years ago would be belting out Danny boy and when Irish eyes are smiling and I'm thinking of him today of course uh, so it's just it's just a really special day